I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Charleston Chain Reaction. I call it that because every decision you make during the Charleston affects the next and it creates a chain reaction. You may end up focusing on one category on the card after the Charleston, but with the same tiles, you can make different decisions and end up playing a completely different category. In this exercise, we're going to practice. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do two iterations with the same tiles, and we'll act as the dealer or East, so we'll get 14 tiles, and I'll create a mock Charleston with no jokers. Flower, west, green, red. Two, three, five, nine in dots, one, five, six in cracks, two, four, five in bams. If these were your tiles, what would be your plan A and what would be your plan B? If these were my tiles, my plan A would be consecutive run two, three, four, five. We have two twos and three fives. We could also maybe play like numbers. So I'd say plan A would be consecutive run, plan B like numbers with either fives or twos. This would go, this could go, this could go, and the nine. So there's two, three, four, five, with or without the dragons. In consecutive run, the dragons have to match. So we would need a consecutive run with bams. So maybe even the red dragon can go, but we have tiles to pass. We need to create this again and do a plan B run. So I'm gonna take a photo and we'll pass. Two, three, four, five. We could maybe do three, four, five, six. Let's pass these three. And I will take a photo. We have a four dot and a three crack. We have one discard. Maybe, let's see, two, three, four, five. I'm thinking the dragons can go. Two, four, six, two, four, eight. There's some two, four, six, eight in here. But it's not, it's pretty weak, actually. So I would focus on consecutive run. Two, three, four, and one suit. Two, four, five. This two is isolated. We could pass that, but there's a two, four, six, eight hand that uses dragons. I wouldn't do that. That would fit right into someone's hand if that's what they're doing. Here's an isolated three. So maybe pass that. Let's take a photo. We have our first multiple with a two. I would reassess and build around the multiple. So we have a two, two, three. Here's a two, three. Maybe hold the four and the dragon. Two, four, six, eight, dragon. Two, three, 
two, four, four, five, six, nine. That can go. Two, three, two, four. Let's see here. Two, four, four, six. If we can get an eight dot, we could play an even hand. So let's just hold some even potential and pass one of each suit. We'll take a photo. Here's a three. We got an eight. So now we have two, four, six, eight potential. There's a north and two fives. Two, three, three, four, six, eight, two, four. I would focus on t evens. Even though we were focused on consecutive run, the hand went to evens for the predominant pattern around the multiple. Let's see. Two, three, two, three. We could still do consecutive run of some kind with two, three, four, two, three dot four crack mixuit Kongs, for example. I think I would let the dragon go. Oh, right across left, left across, wait, right across left. Oh, this is left, okay. I thought those tiles were getting mixed up in here. Okay, we have a dragon. So that kind of changes things because now we could maybe play a year hand or maybe like numbers with twos. Let's still keep evens and pass these. Did I take a photo of that? Three, eight, no. Let's see here. We got a dragon. Let's take a photo there. I think that might be what it was, something like that. We'll figure it out. We're gonna keep it and pass these. We got a three and tiles to pass. Two, th two, three, two, three. Four, two, three, four. Here's a four. Two, three, three, four, two, three, four. Year tiles right there. Two, four, six, eight. We have a seven and an eight for the last right. I think I'd give up on consec on the evens and pass these. And we'll take a photo of that. We got a three. Two, three, two, three. Fours. We did have two, four, six, eight in here. Look at that. There's two, two, four, eight, four, six, eight, two. There's two, four, six, eight. But we also have year hand. Let's pass these three in the optional. No keepers. Two, three, three, three. Hey, like numbers with threes. Right there. I think I would just keep those. I would say that was a pretty good Charleston, although look. <laughs> There's two, three, four, five, two, three, two, three, three. If we had a two crack, we could even play maybe the consecutive pair hand. 
I would just keep all these tiles and, and discard those. I would say that was a pretty good Charleston. I wouldn't pick a hand, I would gather, but I would focus on either like numbers with threes, a year hand, or maybe the two, three pair hand. So we're gonna reset and see if like numbers would have been better. I hope that Charleston is the same. It got a little funky with my photos, but I'll make any notes in the video during editing. So this is what we started with, and we thought maybe we could do like numbers with fives or twos with dragons. So let's pass one west nine. We got a three like numbers with threes. Fours like numbers there, like number potential with fours. So fives would be the strongest because we have one of each. There's an eight and a six. We need to let go of one tile. Let's see here. What about the two? Let's do the two. We got a four. Now we have all the fours. Four, five, four, five, four, five. Pair hand. There's a two, bam. Okay, we're gonna break it up though. Let's pass these. Three, three, four, five, three, four, five. Here's two, eight, north. White West seven. Hmm. Okay, that could be used for like numbers. Okay, so four, 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 five, 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 threes. The threes can go. We have fours or fives. So let's pass these three. Three dot six eight. Oh, pair three. Three, four, five. Three, four, five. We're on lap, let's see, right across left, left across right. We could pass, let's see, four, five, four, five, four, five. Three, four, five, dragon. Let's just pass two. We got a three. <laughs> three, four, five, three, four, five, three, four, three, four, four, eight. All right, we have to make some choices here. I think the three, hmm, really, this is our only multiple. Like numbers with threes or four, five, threes. There's a multiple. But at least we have one of each there. I wouldn't pass like numbers, and I wouldn't pass a pair either. So four, five, four, five. I think what I would do is keep the three dot and pass two for optional. Three crack, three, four, three, four, four, five, seven. I think the other was a better result. We still have like number potential in here, but I think the other focus on consecutive run or the year hand might have been better use of these tiles. It's all good though. I think I would just take it one pick at a time. This wasn't too bad. Look at all these tiles. They're all very useful like numbers with the dragons, or maybe pair hand. Three, four, four, five. 
If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write it in the comment section below. Two players can look at the same dealt hand and play something completely different with good results. That's the beauty of American Mahjong. It's very flexible. If you have a set of tiles at home, give this exercise a try and let me know if it helps you with your decision making. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.